So here's what we're answering today for our 10 points. Number one, how much weight did your first bridge hold? You don't have to know any how much it weighs. Like if pennies weigh a gram and a half, I'm not even going to do the math. You can say things like it held a toy, like I had the mouse here before. Um, you could say it held whatever, a book. You could say it held whatever you put on it. Just say basically what it put on, a glue stick, anything you could find you could put on it. So how did I test my bridge or my bridges? I tested them with pennies and I did use a mouse, but more it was about the pennies because I was able to count them. So you can always use my results too in your, um, in your, in your thinking about the questions. Uh, which version held the most weight? Okay, I'm not even going to count the one with tape because I should build it. I just didn't have enough time. I should have built it with, um, you know, three new pieces of paper and tape. I think tape would hold the most um, just because it gives it support, just like on a bridge with like has soldering and they weld it together and then they put concrete around it. Um, that's what my tape would symbolize. But my ver the version that held the most weight for me was the one that looked like cardboard. It had folds inside of it and then I put one paper on the outside. You did, you did not have to do it that way. You could do it any way you want to still though. Um, number four, why do you think some versions of your bridge held up better than others? Well, for me, so it was more about showing you like how inside there you could see those little those folds just like with cardboard okay it has the stuff inside remember that's called corrugated cardboard this one's actually better and it kind of like has that similar design so that was the best bridge that version of my bridge was the best one um what design changes did you make on your bridge that seemed to work the best so if I had more time, I'd go back and keep building it with put folds in different places. I'll bet if I sat here and had like, you know, an hour and a half with you guys, I would be able to make this like an accordion with, or put to like make this into triangles and put the triangles inside. That would be cool. So if I could, if I do that in a later lesson, I'll record it and I'll put that video in your folder so you could see that. And we'll, um, like I might need a, a dry place just because it's starting to sprinkle out here and they got about seven minutes left. Um, all right. And... <clears throat> so that was what design design changes would be just what how did you fold it or did you make some people made circles in my last class they made like two certain they folded paper in two circles put a little tiny piece of tape on it some people did it without even any tape then they put one piece around those circles that seemed to work pretty well too um describe a real world situation that this activity could apply to. so what did we what did, do you guys remember what did we say about the plane what was a real world situation like? We, it wasn't about building a paper plane that was that great. Yes, yep, exactly. So you, you have to just do the experiment. And basically what you're doing is that's critical thinking. That's a skill that you can use for us your life in any situation, okay? That's what you're doing there. You're, you're, these trials are used critically thinking, how can I do this better? And in the real world, any job you have, there's probably gonna be something that goes wrong and that you need to fix, or maybe, it, or maybe you just, you find a better way to do something at your job. Like I told you guys about at the comedy club when I worked there, um, I had them make a sign so people would hold their tickets up. Um, there, there, there was these exit tickets that they had to get out, and me and Mr. Carvin used to watch the door so they didn't walk out without paying. But anyway, we told them make a sign because it got the line out quicker. People had their tickets ready in their hands. So just a little thing like that, we solved the problem. But it wasn't a huge problem because they did it like that for years before us, but we made we made it better. We improved the situation. Um, and then number eight, which of the which was the most difficult part of today's challenge for you? Um, it could be anything that happened to you. For me, it was trying to get this to hold. Well, really, the trying to get it to hold with the tape at the end of my challenge was something. Guess what? I figured out. I need to use new paper. I can't use this one again because once it breaks it loses um, its stability. Okay, so I, that's how I'll do it different next time. So even when I'm doing these lessons, I'm always making changes. And you guys are only the second class I did this because we didn't have school yesterday. So by the time, also by the time I got flying the planes by Friday last week when I was at Carver High School, um, my planes were going 50 to 54 feet, which was a little further than the beginning of the week because I got better at it and I made changes as I was doing it. All right, and then the last question is just like we did last week with the um, with the planes on the camera. Um, a lot of you guys were able to put pictures in, but if your camera's broke, if you look down at the little writing down there, I gave you some options. Use the draw tool, and I'll show you what that is in case you don't remember. 
or you just didn't see it. So I have the draw tool. I don't know if all computers have it. Um, I know that all the Windows ones have it. You just pick a pencil, and I could just draw, like, and I'm doing it really fast here. But I would just draw, these are my boxes. And then I had my paper that went across. And that's a my bridge, right? Where you can put a real picture. And I would also want to put in a side view. And I had like the folded papers inside. So that's what it looked like from the side. So you can always just draw on your Word document um, or your Google Doc hopefully has that same feature. I don't know because I don't have a Chromebook. Um, I think that's all the questions. Let me go back to the chat box and see if there's any questions and you guys can verbally ask me some. It's not due like in four minutes. So you have time to play around with another, make another bridge if you want, or if you already did all that, you just answer the questions and you can turn it in whenever you get it done. Okay, but we don't need to work on this again. Like this will be the only day we need it for that. Um, let me check the chat box. And how many pennies were there? Um, oh, let me show you that. So my pennies again to remind you were zero for one piece of paper. Then I had a one piece of paper, but I folded it, held 45 pennies. And then I used three pieces of paper. When I folded two of them inside and wrapped one paper around it, I held, I, I guessed there. So that's a guess, 150. It was around 150. It got to the point where I couldn't even count anymore because the other class, I didn't even get to 100. I think I got to 80 something and it broke. So even from one class to the other, I got, I improved it by just, by how it, it didn't work to, didn't work as good that first time, but it's, it worked enough for the lesson for them. <laughs> um, Mark, who your coins in Phil? Okay, Allison, that's fine. You can, and you can write that in your, just write what really happens. You don't have to make anything up. You can still use my results for questions or use your own. That's fine. And it, it was really hard to balance them. I noticed that too. You see, when I got up to 100, I had no more room left. I never thought I would get that many on there. So that was, uh, Definitely, that was definitely a challenge for me as well. So I would put that down as one of your challenges was it was hard to get your coins on the paper. Um, like I said, I tried to even my cell phone battery, my and cell phone on it. I tried, you could try anything. You could put cans of soda on it. I don't know if it would even hold one though. Or like an empty can, I don't know. But you could you got just be creative. We're trying to use the materials that we can find around the house right now. Like I found that board in my dad's basement. I just grabbed it so I could show you. Um, is there any other questions? We're down to the last couple seconds here. No? Okay. All right, so if you don't have any questions, I'll stay in here for a minute. Um, you guys are free to go. I will see you later. Have a good week. And good job today. And it looks perfect timing. The rain is just about to start. See you, Mina. Bye. Bye, Jalen. See you, Talia. See you, Till. See you, Allison. You guys are free to go. If you have a question, I could stay here for about another minute.